So this is relatively new data, and I think it's uh, going to emerge potentially as quite important. We looked at the data from the ADMIRAL study, which was a randomized study of gilteritinib versus salvage chemotherapy for relapse refractory for three mutant patients. And that was a positive trial. It had an overall survival benefit for gilteritinib monotherapy. But then we broke the patients down uh, by mutation status to ask, uh, are there any that responded better or worse? Were there any differences? And I think the, the you know, big points were we could find no subgroup in which gilteritinib did not thoroughly outperform chemotherapy. But uh, even then we found some interesting um, uh, findings that we haven't fully explained. One, um, NPM1 mutations, which are normally considered less unfavorable. I don't like to say favorable. They're less unfavorable. At diagnosis, they're less unfavorable. It turns out in this setting, they're quite unfavorable, at least with chemotherapy. So a patient with an NPM1 mutation who's relapsed and has a FLT3 mutation does appallingly poorly with chemotherapy. Gilteritinib doesn't seem to mind, and as I mentioned, it, there's really no subgroup where it, it, it doesn't do just fine. We noted in addition that uh, you know, there was a distinct subgroup. One quarter of the patients had a combination of FLT3 ITD, DNMT3A, and NPM1 mutation. And uh, they seemed to respond remarkably well to gilteritinib such that it looked very different than a relapsed AML population, it looked like a newly diagnosed population. They had a remarkably good survival, and in, in uh, contrast, the chemotherapy did appallingly poorly. Uh, finally, we wanted to look at the variant allele frequency or allelic ratio, the burden of the ITD mutation in this population, and that came out pretty much as expected, but it's often not what people think. They would think that a high allelic burden is going to really work. Uh, uh, Giltritin will be very effective in a patient with a high allelic burden. No, uh, it is effective. It's much more effective than chemotherapy. It's true, but that's a very difficult population to deal with. They have a very high tumor burden. They're typically in sort of advanced disease when they relapse. And so, while giltritinib is far more effective than chemotherapy for those patients, giltritinib would rather have a low allelic ratio patient to treat. So, the low allelic ratio patients did better with gilt than the high allelic ratio. Low allelic ratio, you still have a chance with chemotherapy. Uh, chemotherapy can still salvage some of those, although it, it, gilteritinib still looks better. So the big pictures are NPM1 at relapse is bad for chemo. DNMT3A, NPM1, FLT3 ITD is a uniquely responsive subgroup for uh, gilteritinib, and we want to look at that with other FLT3 inhibitors. And allelic ratio, uh, the more you have, the more disease you have, the worse things are, but gilteritinib, again, clearly better than chemotherapy.